guys, here is the plan. I have, there's a fitting here. I got my shutoff valve. And I've got my coupler so I can disconnect the line right here. I can shut it off and disconnect. I have a T, this will go to the pump. This will go to my gauge level. My next disconnect is here. Then I'll have a shutoff, backflow, uh, check valve from the pump. There'll be a pipe that comes across to this T, to that two inch shutoff valve. This will be my drain valve. So if I wanna drain um, this tank, I can open that one, close that one, close that one, open it up and it'll drain and vice versa. If I wanna drain the other tank, I can close this one close that one, open that one, and drain that tank. And I've got another uh, coupling, so a screw-on coupling I can disconnect, and then a shut-off valve and fitting. So all that connected, the line going from one to one, uh, tank to tank, is gonna act as the um, uh, transfer tube so that the water in each one of the tanks stays the same level. And this tube fitting here, I'm going to put on this braided line, you can see it's got a 250 PSI rating on it. So what I'm gonna do is clip that onto that little brass valve or that little brass fitting there. And I'm gonna run it up the side of the tank. That way I can easily see how much water we have in the tank. And there'll be both tanks because they're equalized. Each, uh, each tank should be at the same level at all times. So once we get over to here, then I will wrap around and I'll get my fittings and everything set up for the pump and the pressure tank over on that side.
I've got the line connecting them hooked up now. Um, all my pushing and pulling around and everything, I'm only off 3 eighths of an inch. So this side is 3 eighths of an inch closer to the house than that side. And I think that is just fine. I'm not going to push any more than that. These things are heavy. So what I do is take a ratchet strap, uh, take the ratchet part off, wrap it around the uh, barrel. And these are 20, 20 or 24 foot ratchet straps. I'm able to kind of muscle them to turn them and move them a little bit. So this left me with about five inches or so um, on each side. Pretty sure I've got five over here anyways. Yeah, so it's more like six on this side. Leaves me a little bit of room to look back in there um, in case I need to, if I get any leaks or things like that. And then I think I am about five over there and about five over there. So. So, looking pretty good. I do need to support this underneath. I was going to use 2x4s to go over the top of this uh, to make create a, a, a deck basically over the top of this, but clearly it's going to be too, this is going to be too high. So I may need to adjust that as I am about, what, 6 inches or so. A 2x6 is 5.5, so I do have some 2x8s that um, we didn't use and those would be perfect for this actually so I just run two by eights over and then let's see a two by eight would give me a step over here I'd be up seven and a quarter plus the top that'd be eight that would give me well just over a six six and a half inch step so that's that would be just great so what I'm gonna do is run a deck build a deck basically from right out here all the way up to the wall here now I'll give you a step up into here and a step down to go out and then that'll allow me to uh, put deck boards across the top I'll run my um, hmm, I don't know how I should run my floor joists I'll figure that out what the best way is there but that'll work work pretty good really so the next thing I need to figure out is over in this space how I'm going to be setting up the uh, pressure tank and the pump and then really right now this is set enough to where I can go ahead and close at least this valve I gotta run my pipe up that tube right there for my uh, level gauge um, but basically it's the point where I can actually close the system and then I can go ahead and pipe in my uh, top so I can start filling these with with rainwater so I'm actually going to go ahead and stop working on where the placement of the tank is going to go and jump over to working on the pipes coming in. Hope we can get that uh, set up since it's supposed to rain this weekend.
have music playing and working in here in the pump room when I stop the music to do a video um, I can hear the echo inside the, the tanks of the music still reverberating back and forth it's pretty cool um, yesterday or last night so of course I got the system down here um, set up after I did have to move the tanks a little bit because when I put in my uh, main pipe that goes into the top there um, I cut this one ended up being just a little bit short so even though I measured it several times still ended up being a little short so I had to bump the tank over about probably close to an inch I'm still not quite sure how I screwed it up that bad but a little nervous because you know bumping this closer to me an inch meant this was going to get out of whack a little bit um, but I ended up having to bump this one over about I don't know probably not a quarter inch or so but still when I measure from this point to the wall or that point to the wall um, I'm almost exact now so my only concern is if this tank is twisted a little bit um, and this tank may be twisted a little bit so this line wouldn't be perfectly straight so I'm not sure even how to tell how to get it straight because I have a round yeah I mean it look pretty darn straight actually it kind of looks like it's rotated clockwise maybe a tick um, I don't think that's an issue because if it is it's very very minimal yeah, it looks like it's rotated maybe a little clockwise too. It's really hard to tell. But I won't know until I get water in if it's going to have any problems leaking. Of course, it'll be a lot harder to move once there's water in it. Even if I drain it, it's still going to have, you know, probably 50 gallons or so in the bottom. So there's my 200 gallon mark is right at the top of the uh, inlet. And so at the bottom, I'll probably have between 50 and 100 gallons in there. So to drain it fully, I have to put a sump pump down inside and drain it that way. But um, I think I may let it go and, and see what happens. Oh, I got an idea. So if I untwist, if I untwist that guy, then that should adjust. It'll turn whichever way it needs to turn, and it'll show me if I'm on or if I'm off. Um, if it lines up perfectly, then I know it's okay, but if I release the pressure, it should rotate to somewhat more of a straight axis off, off that side. So I'll do that and then see what it looks like. Okay, I got this loosened up. I really don't like these kind of fittings. They're really difficult to get super tight. Where it's hard to tell because it's kind of pressed together there. Okay. Yeah, see, like I thought, it's just off a little bit. I don't, I mean, that's pretty minimal. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now, if I were, you know, just laying this loose and letting it fall, I don't think I'm more than a half inch. If that. There's where it's sitting, and there's where it's straight. I've got a little bit of play here, so I think I'm fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Put this back on. So, I think we're okay there. I think that's close enough that it's not gonna cause me any problems. If I do, if like this leaks, I can unscrew this and rotate this around, that's going to throw my valve off. Um, I, don't, I can't even get another rotation in there, it's so tight. The only I could think of if this does leak, I would unscrew this all the way. This has got about uh, six or seven rounds of Teflon tape over it and it's gone in as tight as I can get it. You got this little gap right here, I can get a rubber washer and um, uh, tighten it up and that'll help seal it too. So if I have any leaks, that's what I'll do there. Do the same thing on that side.